Hello everybody, this is Serpent, and welcome back to another episode in Minecraft. In this one, I'll be showing you how to make this cool uh, elevator. Now, this one is actually very small, very compact, and it uses a little trick that I've just discovered, or at some point discovered. Um, I don't know, someone else may have figured this out first, but it works in that if you push a piston into your feet and then activate it, you will be brought up onto the top of the piston, and then you can activate it again to be pushed up one block. So let's see it in action. Fairly quick, and like I said, very nice and compact. So let's get started with the tutorial. First things first, find your floor, and you can expand it just a little bit, or if it's in survival, it's probably already expanded for you and then place a button where you want your button to be and oh wrong button <laughs> and you will have two little uh, little towers of quartz blocks or whatever blocks going up to the height that you wish your elevator to stop at this top part here will be the floor that you get spat out on right there on the other one and these two pillars here will be this pillar and this pillar so naturally you're going to fill in the middle with glass unless of course you want to make it something else <laughs> i don't really care i'm 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 going to use glass because i like seeing through so from here underneath this block you can place a piston and that block there is going to hold you in place while the pistons are shoved into your feet and that means that underneath here you want to power the piston with some redstone dust across this. Actually, this doesn't this doesn't power the piston. It updates the piston after it's be, after it's been bud powered by the button, but it ends up being pretty much the same thing anyway. So from this redstone dust, five blocks across like that, place an observer on the top, and this observer will have a note block on its output. Now you can use redstone dust for this but I like the note blocks because they're easier to place things against in the rest of the build, as well as they are uh, full blocks and they don't cause lighting updates, so they don't, they're they a little less laggy. So from this main observer here, the start point, you take a zigzag pattern all the way up the back like that, and that starts with two observers out the side, two observers up, two observers across, up, across, up, across, and you just take this pattern all the way up until the top, like so. On the backs of all these observers, the outputs, place a note block or redstone dust, like we discussed earlier. And then on the note blocks, or sorry, not on the note blocks, in these holes in between the note blocks and the observers, this is where your sticky pistons go. So place these all the way up until the top, and on their faces, you're going to want to alternate upwards facing upwards facing pistons and quartz blocks like this. The, pi the pistons should be on the faces of the other pistons, the quartz blocks in between. And we can probably get rid of this part here since the floor is like this. Oops. <laughs> okay, so now you have the wiring that will power the pistons and you have the pistons themselves, except you you now need the uh, the walls that will hold you in, as well as the observers that will power the uh, the pistons once they're out, once they've been moved. So start on this note block, and then every other block all the way up, like that, and do that on the other side as well, on the same layer as that piston and the other observer. Just observer, note block, observer, note block. Once again, all the way up. So between these uh, these walls here and the observers here, you need to place a couple pillars of blocks. Uh, every other block is unneeded, but the ones that are on the backs of these observers are needed because that that's uh, what the that's what the um, power tra transfers through. These blocks become powered, powering the piston. And those, of course, need to be opaque blocks. Now, or solid blocks, I mean. 
Now, I think at this point we may have a working system. Yes, it looks like it. Except that up at the top here, we do need um, one piston that will shove us forward. Because it's not quite... Uh, whoops. <laughs> That's not necessary. Uh, it's not quite um, as nice as it could be because we're going to fall down the hole <laughs> if we use it like it is. So, quick correction, at the end there, I had something that looked vaguely like this, and I had put a block there with a little bit of uh, redstone dust across those two. That was just a tad incorrect. The design still worked, but it wasn't quite um, wasn't quite as neat as I would like. So, in other, in, uh, instead, remove these two blocks because they're unnecessary. There's no piston past them, and there's nothing to power um, with them. So from there, just take a block and uh, just take a block like that with a little bit of redstone on the back of that observer, and that'll achieve the same thing but with less waste. Basically, you just need to make sure that that, that from this point here, where the note, note block is being powered from this observer, there are one, two, three, four more observers before a redstone dust or a block that powers this piston here. And finally, one more quick note, with, uh, withholding to that rule that I just uh, stated, you can pretty easily swap this, uh, this normal piston here out for a sticky piston with a quartz block on its face. The problem with that is that if you, if you build it one way, <laughs> as in where the piston is, uh, is at the bottom or the top, I, I can't remember which, um, then the quartz block here can uh, deal a half a heart of damage to the survival player just from punching them in the face. And what I like to do down at the bottom, you can see it right there, is place a couple of slime blocks and on top of them some carpet. This is just, uh, just a little thing that you can fall onto if you're in survival. And this way you don't die, <laughs> which is always nice. Another cool thing you can do is just take a little um, little loop around the holes. This way you'll fall straight down all the time and you don't have to worry about aiming. And, and, and then uh, you can also pop some trapdoors on top with a button. That way you can just stand here and fall down the hole. So with all that said and done, we have an elevator that works with all its uh, little additions. The slime blocks at the bottom and the little trap doors up at the top with the, with the hidden piston and the doorway. <laughs> so hopefully uh, this video was helpful. That's going to be all, uh, that's going to be about it for today. So thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.